Hey everyone, I'm Conor McGregor. I'm Daniela Melchior. I'm JD Pardo. Hey, I'm Lucas Gage. And I'm Jessica Williams. And we are here at South by Southwest for the premiere of our new movie. It's called Roadhouse. And we are here to answer a few questions. It was incredible, right? Like they built the whole bar. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I remember going to to the Pinewood Studios to to see a room full of like storyboards and everything that uh, Joel Silver and Doug Liman were thinking about, and seeing that in reality it was crazy. We we had a real. Uh, Roadhouse bar. When I first arrived on the Roadhouse set, I was like, damn, this is humid. Like, because we were in the DR and it was very, very humid. Did you get a humid vibe? I was sweaty, I got tan. Well, sunburn first and then tan, but I said, we're in Florida. This isn't the DR anymore. Yeah. Oh, we're you're Florida, acting. You no? Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have, uh, yeah. But it was like good. I prefer. I prefer to be warm and hot rather than same, cold. Same. I can't, like, Any day. cold makes you go. Mm -hmm. But hot makes you go, mm -hmm. like hot is sexier yeah. to me. Yeah. I trained hard to for it, you know, I got myself in shape. I added a couple of extra plates onto the squat rack. That was it, made myself strong. And that's it, I hope, you know, I hope my mother is okay with it because she doesn't know at the minute. <laughs> Some major stars have done it before. Arnie Schwarzenegger, my, a friend of mine, came into the movie business doing the same thing in Terminator, and happy days. Do you like it? What did you think? Physical, I really had to learn how to fight. I didn't know how to throw a punch. I was horrible, and I was sore every single day. I never worked out that hard in my life. I mm. honestly, those two weeks of training, Emotionally transformation, I'll say it once, I'll say it again, was working with Jessica and Jake. I mean, the two hottest people you can work with, that's emotional transformation. Guilty, that's me, <laughs> the hottest person. I had to practice holding my breath underwater because I had to do the scene where I was getting attacked by um, the alligator, crocodile, and they, they had to uh, strap me in the water to like almost like a washing machine. And so the water was gonna be up here, so I had to, you know, just try to you know, breathe in water, not, not too hard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, acting, for sure. Acting is a tough business and a lot more difficult than I gave it credit. To be honest, going back now to the fight game seems like a walk in the park and I'm excited about that. Longer days and tough work. You know, those, I done all my stunts. I was, you know, hanging onto an anchor underwater, getting dragged along by a speedboat. You know, it was a tough, tough game, and you know, I'm, I'm excited to have it banked and have it done. I'm excited now for the world to see it and see their reaction. I hope, I hope people enjoy. Crazy, like the craziest. Did you have any crazy moments? I think when we all went skinny dipping in the ocean. I wasn't there you for that. There. Okay. Did you? Yeah, no. Nighttime, daytime. Daytime, nighttime. Night. What, nighttime. Which one? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's looking like. How uh, was it? It was really fun. The water's really warm. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Cast bonding. That's nice. My favorite moment was hearing about that yeah. for sure. <laughs> that's like which I missed. Yeah, it was intense because uh, we were. It was a night shoot, so it's dark out there, and I'm in the ocean. You know. And Weren't I'm you like, afraid? Uh, yeah. I was, I was like, this could be it. I might, uh, you know, I kept like moving my toes around and kicking my feet, trying to see if like it was, anything was around me. But they had divers all around, so they kind of created like a little, um, like a Safe little space. protective bubble. Cool. Um, yeah, but that was uh, being in the ocean at night. That's that's a little terrifying. Do and ask for anything you need to do the best job you can. Because there was so much going on that sometimes I would like, yeah, it is what it is. And I remember having my makeup artist, Flora, and my hairstylist, Peter, they were so lovely. They were saying all the time, just, it's not it is what it is. Just, if you need something in specific, if you need time, if you need uh, whatever, just like f fight for yourself. Because if you don't speak up for you, everyone is so busy trying to do the best for the movie that, yeah, that was the best advice. It's amazing. No one gave me advice. Oh, for you. <laughs> <I know. laughs>
I know exactly mine. What is it? Jake Gyllenhaal told me, treat every take like a rehearsal and you'll make no mistakes. Really? Yeah. Like, what does he mean like? Like, because I kept on being, you know, Doug is incredible, but he likes to figure it out on the day and change things. So I was like all flustered because I had all my preconceived sure. ideas that I wanted to bring and the little ways I wanted to say my line. And he was like, just treat every take like a rehearsal and you'll make mm. no mistakes. Mm. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, well, now I just got that by like proxy. <laughs> I like when people like are also going to therapy and they'll Ugh. give you like what their therapist said and you're like, that's actually really nice. Like, but I, I didn't think I, didn't I got for advice that. for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying for this. Oh, I'd say McGregor. Oh, McGregor forever. <laughs> Although Knox, Knox is formidable for sure. Hey guys, it's Jessica. Thanks for joining <laughs> us and make sure to catch our new movie, Roadhouse on Prime Video. Bye. Bye. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? I, about like 25 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? So you like to fight. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. This ain't the Holiday Inn, pal. I am, I'm moving. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need that. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, brother. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton. Big fan, man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this bouncer. Yeah, it's all nice. Like he's Mr. Rogers or something. But then he'll haul off. Ah! Really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things done around here. Hey, fellas, looks like you're having a smashing night. Dalton, I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. Let me guess. You're not threatening me. Tell me to get out of town. I get the impression that you can't be threatened. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. <laughs> 